I, Peter Eric James Prentice, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs, successors... ...was officially sworn in today as Alberta's Premier at the Provincial Legislature in Edmonton. Prentice will deliver a throne speech in the Legislature later on. He will outline the Provincial Tories' agenda as the party begins the slow march to the next Provincial election in 2016. Alberta's Progressive Conservatives have ruled the province for 43 years. And shall we bring in Josh Skernick? He joins us now live from Edmonton. So let's talk about what we are expecting to see in that throne speech today, Josh. Karen, it's largely probably going to focus on the nine pieces of legislation the government says it will be rolling out as the session continues. These range from increased protections for personal information to a horse racing amendment, but all of the eyes are most likely going to be on Bills 1 and 2. Bill 1, that's increased protection for property rights. Bill 2, that's that Accountability Act that Prentice ran his leadership bid on this past summer and answered to all those scandals plaguing the Redford government, Karen. And, and that Accountability Act, Josh, supposed to be a pretty big one in the next hundred days. Well, absolutely. Actually, at this AGM, their annual general meeting in Banff this past weekend, Prentice admitted that voters had given them a second chance, but that they had a lot of work to do in proving that they had changed as a party. This Accountability Act, that's supposed to be the answer to that problem. Ending sweetheart deals for former staffers, no more sole source contracts, and also a cooling off period from when people leave government and then go to a lobbying arm. That's something that Prentice says is going to restore the trust of the government in Albertans and actually something that Jonathan Dennis outlined this morning in lieu of the throne speech. Take a listen. Uh, the idea, of course, is to restore public confidence and to end entitlements uh, and get back with the principle that we work for the people, not the other way around. We have to continue to earn people's trust day in and day out in this business. All right, we'll be looking. Karen, yep. so all of the eyes, of course, on Prentice at around 5. <laughs> no, all of the eyes are on Prentice uh, when he does give his speech around 5 p.m. Eastern. So, And we will, uh, of course, report on that uh, when it comes around, Karen. All right, got to love that delay, live television. What are you going to do? Josh Skernick, we will be watching you for coverage from Edmonton. Thank you for that.